on this special program me the birthplace of our forefathers me they be saved in this present crisis om jai pam de di chamune jai bhuta paharani जय सर्वगटे देवी काल रात्रि नमोस्तुते काल रात्रि नमोस्तुते श्री गुरु चरण सरोज निज मन मुकुर सु वर नूर घु वर विमल जस जो दायत पल चार बुद्धहीन तनु जानी के सुमिरो पवन कुमार वर उदी विद्या देहु मुही हर कले विकार से आ पति राम चंद्र की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय श्रिया वर राम चंद्र की जय शरण Thank you everyone for joining me on this special evening. Bhagwan's blessings to all of you. Let us enjoy this beautiful Devi Ma bhajan to awake that divine spirit within us, to wake up that dormant energy within us. Ma jago mata rani pahara wali. You who sit on that pahara wali on top of the lion on that great mountain. please take us to that state and release us from all burdens and difficulties please enjoy this ma bhajan everyone महारानी 
Really a pleasure to be in your company on this very, very special, very, very, very special hour. As we pray for the world with mantras and uh, devotion, I'd like to thank as well all of our listeners and viewers for logging in in this very special hour. May Bhagwan always continue to bless you, guide you, protect you now and always. My dear brothers and sisters, my topic this evening is a very, very powerful one. For those who listen to it, those who share it, those who practice what I'm about to say, you will see a lot of chamatkar will be happening in your life, miracles. You will see a lot of greatness, you will see a lot of unfolding spiritually will start taking place. You will start finding a lot of inner harmony, peace of mind. You will start receiving this Sukha Sampati, this wealth that you have never experienced in your mind. As when you start practicing what I'm about to tell you. When you practice 
chanting mantras, which is a mystical formula with sacred syllables, it will help you erase the luggage that we have come with from our past lives. The word mantra, man means mind, tra means protection. So mantra is like a tool that you need to perform that work, that surgery, so that that surgery can be done, so healing can be, can be also available to you. Mantra is a powerful vibration. Mantras can actually shift energy from negative to positive. You know, sometimes, I'm sure, people feel negative sometimes of the situation, of this kind of uh, problems we are having in economically, politically, with this present crisis. So many people, they don't know how to be inspired. This evening I'm going to tell you how to keep inspired and how this topic can help you mentally, physically, financially, economically, health-wise and to win success to your life. My friends, how to wake up that energy that will lead you to Atma Chaitanya. How to awaken that mind, that mind, the same mind that bothers you, the same mind that can take you to God. So mantra, man means the mind, tra means the tool to take you, to give you that connection, that GPS, that Wi-Fi, that code. So mantra is a code so we can all connect to that station. You know, whether it's Facebook or Twitter or, or the TV station or radio station, we need a mantra, my friends. Mantras can really help us. Mantra is, can be received by song the energy, by vakta, by shabda, song the energy. It radiates a, such a beautiful feeling when you chant mantras, when you listen to them. And now we have no excuses, right? We have them freely available in radio stations like these, on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, on Skype, on Instagram. There are mantras everywhere if you tap in into it. And always the young friends and children, always teach your parents how to use the app of YouTube to get mantras. One boy said, Paniji, the last time I showed my grandmother, to use the YouTube, she used to call me every day to find out how I'm doing. Now she calls me once a month because all the time she, she's in YouTube. At least she's in the right tube, my dear friends. So this mantra radiates a beautiful feeling, a beautiful aura when you listen to these mantras, Sanskrit mantras, that is in the language of Sanskrit the oldest language in the world, the language of the Lord, the gods. Mantras can heal you mentally. And for those who have lost the loved ones, a mother or a father or a child or a friend or a loved one, all that can really help you is mantra, chanting, listening. It helps you let go the attachment. It helps you let go the grief. That intense grief and crying and hurt, it helps you release that tension. For mantras are recommended in our scriptures millions of years ago to help us rise and evolve so we can let go the weaknesses. My dear friends, before I continue, there was a mother who called me several months ago, I think it was about a year ago. And she said, my dear Panditji, my daughter was in a critical accident and the car was crushed. My daughter today is paralyzed and the doctors have given up on her, telling her there is no hope. And when she called me, I felt sorry for her. And I said, Maji, there is always hope. If doctors fail, God would not fail. And I told her, 
let her chant Om Aim, Reem, Clean, Chamundai, Biche. The mantras of the divine mantra, the mother, the Shakti, the energy. I said, let the girl believe in herself. Put on positive message. Don't let her listen to the lies of those who are telling her there is no hope. My dear friends, a year has gone and the mother calls me every couple of months and she updates me and she says, Pandiji, thank you, thank you, thank you. I said, Maji is not me. I'm just the instrument, the you know, telling you what to do. This girl would chant her mantra, the Mrichunjaya mantra. That the Om Aim Rim Klim Chamundai Biche Namaha. Constantly, her mother would come and make sure she has positive energy. The mother would fast to the divine, universal mother and pray for that child. A year has gone when the mother recently told me, Pandiji, I really, I have no words to say. My daughter who was paralyzed on her left side is walking and moving her body once more. By your help, I said, no, the mother's help, by the help of mantras, the help of that energy that awakens the dormant energy in the body. Mantra, the power of these syllables are very, very powerful. Can wake up your body by Kriya Shakti. Can wake up your mind by Icha Shakti, the Divine Mother Lakshmi. And she can open up your intellect by Jnani Shakti, Mother Saraswati. May that Kali Mata that represents energy release all of you from ailments, torture, depression, sadness, negativities, evil forces, setbacks, poverty, ailments of many kind or danger of any kind. Mother is great. Mother is great. Hence I started with that beautiful bhajan. My dear friends, that girl I was telling you about now is moving around and miracles took place in her life. We too, miracles can of course take place in our lives. My dear friends, we turn to this Bhagwan Shivat Bhajan, a very touching song. As we ask in these beautiful mantras, in these beautiful rags, O Bhagwan Shiva, please save the world, save Bharat Desh India. When we see so many bodies are being burnt per day, and children are crying for their parents lying on the ground, hospitals are filled, there are no oxygen tanks, hardly medication, they have used it all out. And the question is, where next, right? Friends, prayer, if all of us put our minds together and pray, it can create a universal energy, a world, Jagat Shakti, and Jagat Janinima is going to help us. When everybody fails, Bhagwan will never fail. As we call upon him, hey Bhagwan Shiva, please bless the world on this special, special hour. My dear friends, thank you for joining me. I appreciate all of you who have logged in, who are listening to us in the various stations. Thank you so much for joining. Let us take this moment, this hour or two, and dedicate to Bhagavan Shiva. Oh Lord Shiva, Sudhena, listen to our prayer. Let us pray together as we love the Lord through these mantras, through these bhajans. Please enjoy my friends.
चल तल नभ में मधु सब बोले ओ नमः शिवाय एवरीवन टुगेदर ओ नमः शिवाय ओ नमः शिवाय ओ नमः शिवाय सिस्टर्स मंत्र शक्ति मंत्र शक्ति को भाव रक्षा दिए मंत्र इज द पावर दैट प्रोटेक्ट्स अस इट स्पिरिचुअली अवेकेंस द चक्रस इन द बॉडी द सेवन चक्रस फ्रॉम द स्टमक यू नो द द अपर पार्ट द चेस्ट द थ्रोट फॉर इट द टॉप ऑफ द हेड द क्राउन चक्रा Mantras can awaken these energy. Mantras have been given to us thousands of years by the great rishis and munis and great mahatmas, so that we can connect to our higher self 
Not the lower self, the lower self is the ego, the hamkar, the hamkar. But the rishis give us these mantras that has potency, vibration that can help us connect to our Atma Chaitanya. The rishis and munis, they had their spiritual journey and all these mantras were drawn upon them by meditation, what they should give us as human beings to chant and win the Lord's grace. I personally, friends, I can tell you, when I went to India, I had lots of setbacks. I had asthma cases. I had no money to survive in India. Some days no food, you know. I became a beggar on the street some days. And this is the price we all have to go through as a student before you become a teacher. But those days were the most precious days of my life. But what helped me in my loneliness, some days depressed, some days sick in a room, some days my body was not nourished, very weak, but I had to fight it. And mantra helped me. The Gayatri mantra helped me with my knowledge to retain what I was learning, music, my singing, my spiritual journey, mantras helped me so much, my friends. And I'm telling you today, mantras can really help you in your darkest hour. When I used to, uh, I used to be in one of the particular stations in Trinidad, and I had a very early program from three, no, from four to six in a station. And I remember at 3.30, I was going down to the city of Port of Spain in Trinidad. And I was chanting the Hanuman Chalisa, of course, for protection. Whenever you can't sleep, <laughs> chant the Hanuman Chalisa. Whenever you're scared, chant the Hanuman Chalisa. When you find you in a traffic, you can't reach to the airport in time, chant the Hanuman Chalisa. But don't only do it for things. Chant it for spiritual reasons as well. And while I was chanting these 40 verses going to the radio station in a very early morning, a bullet passed through close to the car and hit close to the ring screen when I stopped at the traffic light. Someone was trying to stop the car to take me out and take the vehicle. But that bullet passed close to the windscreen and I saw the fiery, this fire coming. My dear friends, it was red light. I broke the light and I left. My dear friends, those people threw the stone on my windscreen and I drove from that particular part in Port of Spain by the line, the docks, to where the radio station was, which was about 10 to 15 minutes away. And when I reached, I had to break the windscreen so I can see where I was going. And when I looked back, it was the Hanuman Chalisa. Raksha Karo Shri Hanumanji. It was His grace that protected me, Raksha. His grace can also protect you. I have a world of stories that I can read to you and speak to you about my life experience, what I have gone through and how mantras save my life, how it gives me courage in my darkest hour, how it gives me consolation when I was giving up, when things were not working out and people did not, you know, honor what I was doing. It was mantras that would help, help me. Mantra is like a torch. <laughs> Listen to this carefully, friends. Mantra is like a torch light in the very dark night that remove your fright and make you feel that might and remove your blight with that divine light. Such is the power of Mantra Raj Shakti. Mantras can reveal the dark, the, 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 the light from the darkest aspect of your life. If you're suffering from poverty this evening, if you're suffering from ailments, if you're suffering from loss of loved ones, my friends, don't give up. 
Ashana Toru. Please do not give up, friends. I'd like to turn to Mrichunjaya Mantra. Mrichunjaya Mantra is the, the mantra Jai means victory, Mirkyu means death. The mantra that takes you and you can win death by this mantra Raj. It's very powerful, everyone. Has a powerful vibration. The mantra has a lot of potential energy and healing. This mantra, Mrityunjaya Mantra, can help us mentally. And it is called in India, the Doctor Mantra of India, Bharat Desh. And I don't know why people in India, they are not using this mantra right now. You know, Swami Satyasai Baba said that recently, to give a dream to a devotee, to help us rise from this severe impact of this virus, sip hot water with vibhuti and some turmeric, some haldi. Don't gulp it, you know, drink it and sip it softly. A lot of hot liquids at least five times a day with a little piece of ginger, some haldi, piece of clove, some cloves and a little bit of vibhuti. Touch it to the altar. Jai Sai Ram. The Gayatri Mantra, touch it to the altar and drink it three times a day. It will help you. Friends, the Mrityunjaya Mantra is the Raja Mantra of the Shiva Shaivites. It can help you in so many different ways. The saints and sages, they chant this mantra forcefully with a lot of faith, Shraddha. And this mantra removes the ailment for those who are avaduts. Avaduts means they are not even attached to the clothes, they are naked. They are Shiva Bhaktas. Many of you may not know of it, but they are a tribe of people called avaduts. They don't wear clothes, but these are only males and they grow their beard long to cover their body. I was very fortunate to meet a few of them in my journey to the Himalayas when I was studying there. This Mrityunjaya is their protection. It emanates a powerful Shabda. Shabda means a song vibration that heals and gives the body an energy to resist negativities and also to resist all disease and viruses. These yogis, my dear friends, use this mantra to protect them. My friends, when I went to Kedarnath, one of the most powerful mandir of Lord Shiva in India, last two years, the place was minus zero. It was very, very cold. And, you know, we all had these coats, but these yogis and masters had no, hardly any clothes, just marks in the forehead and marks in the arm. We call it the train line marks, right? The, the marks of Shiva that represents he is the seer of past, present and future, right? And do you know when I, they were chanting something and I really was mesmerized. How come these yogis are chanting something but they're not cold, they're not hungry, they're not complaining, they're in this titta pragya, this very high level of existence. And when I went to give some food and offerings to them, all that I was hearing softly was Om Triambakam Yajame Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukhameva Bandhanat Mrityor Moksha Mamrita The Mrityunjaya Mantra Whenever you have to pray to, for someone in a hospital, it is the Mrityunjaya Mantra that we chant, my dear friends. The Mrityunjaya Mantra we must chant. When we pray for someone, the Mrityunjaya Mantra could transmit or transfer that energy from you to that person. I'm urging all of you, please listen to me, friends. I'm begging you during this time, please do not stop praying. Pray individually, which is safer, but every day let us chant the Mrityunjaya 
108 times. I never used to do it 108 times. But since the COVID-19, I do not miss a day together with Navita. Chandak Mitchun Jaya, this very same Rudraksh Mala I have. 108 times, sincerely sending energy to my body, my family, my home, and more so, all those who are suffering and all part of the world. If you want to help the world, help by chanting the Mrichun Jaya every day, and it will help transit or transfer that energy to those around you and far, especially our brothers and sisters of Bharadesh who are dying by the thousands daily and we just don't know how many more will go. How many more countries are going to be affected if we don't have control, if we don't wear our mask, if we don't listen to the authorities, if we do not pray and send out this energy, we're going to get stuck in a long time, for a long time here on this earth. So Mrityu Jaya is very powerful. It's very, very powerful. If your child, if someone very close to you is going for a surgery, chant the Mrityu Jaya while the surgery is being done. If your child is going through a hard time, someone dies and you just know how, you don't know what to do and how to face that death, the Mrityu Jaya Mantra will really, really help you, my dear friends. Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukham Eva Vandana Mrityur Mokshi Amaham Vritat Please chant with me, friends. Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purvarukha Niva Bandana Mrityur Mokshi Amam Vritat Mrityun Raja Shakti Om Har Har Mahadev Umapati Mahadev Ki So my dear friends, I'm very very delighted to be in your company on this special hour. Please, we are talking about mantra and I'm going to share more very, very important information which you please stay tuned as we sing this beautiful bhajan and we take our mind to a state of sthita pragya, that state of divine realm. So we can experience, not only listen to the knowledge, but experience this knowledge in and through our heart. Before I sing this bhajan, there are some mantras that are called Beej mantras. What is the meaning of Beej? Not Beecha, Beech is something else. Beech, B-E-E-J, Beech. Beech means a seed. Beech mantras have no meaning to them, but they carry a powerful seed vibration that when you chant it, my gosh, it will help you. So these mantras are very, very powerful. For example, Om Aim Rin Klim Chamundai Biche. Again, Om Aim Rin Klim Chamundai Biche. These mantras sound very funny, but they are full with potency, full of energy friends so for example if a student wants to win knowledge the beach mantra for that is om aim when you're chanting saraswati mantra om aim saraswati namaha for those who are singers for those who are musicians for those who are speakers lecturers for those who wanted buddhi the intellect to open that is the beach mantra that vibrates the intellect and voice and talents. That potential is Om Aim, is Saraswati mantra. So Aim is for Saraswati. Shreem, S-R-E-E-M, Shreem is for Lakshmi. When you want to win wealth, when you're not having enough income, Om Shreem Maha Lakshmi Namaha, 
Shreem is for Lakshmi Devi. Shri Devi is the goddess of wealth, Ashta Lakshmi Ma. So when Aim is for Saraswati, Shri or Shreem is for Lakshmi. And Om Hreem, Hreem is for Durga. Om Hreem Durga, Dum Durga, Inama. Dum and Durga, Dum and Hreem is for Durga, Inama. Klim, Krishna, and Klim is for Krishna. Hum, Dum is for Hanumanji. When you are scared, and you're afraid of the dark, and you're scared to, <laughs> to walk in the night, right? You're scared of zombie, and you're scared of the spirit, and you're scared because you find somebody is doing obia in you. There is nothing like that when you have faith. When you have faith, none of these things, my dear brothers and sisters, exist. When you have a high frequency of faith, Nothing can touch you with the grace of Bhagavan. So my dear friends, keep chanting, chanting. For knowledge, aim. For health, reem. For fear, pat. And for wealth, shreem. Keep chanting these mantras, my dear friends. Regular chanting in the lips equals mukti. Self-realization. I remembered when I would study in India, my Guruji, he would always chant while he walks, Om Hari Om, Hari Om, Hari Om, Hari Om. Never spoke to anyone. We couldn't ask him questions. His mind and his, his voice, his existence was in that higher realm. Hence, he never read a book. He remember, memorized all the verses in the scriptures. Those who chant constantly will have a special energy in the eyes that will be bright. Their voice, your personality, your gesture, you know, how you carry about yourself. Mantra Shakti does all this. It can really help you channel. And uh, there was a little joke <laughs> once. There was a man who would chant Hari Om. Not my guru, there was another person. Very religious person who lived in the West. He would chant Hari Om, Hari Om, Hari Om. One day, unfortunately, that man got a heart attack. And he fell to the ground. And so, someone saw this and called the ambulance. And the ambulance took him to his wife and his wife said he's chanting Hari Om, not Hari Home. They took the man to his home. The wife got so angry and told, she told the, M the EMT, you fools, he's chanting Hari Om, not Hari Home. Hurry him in the hospital. Not So those of you who chant and you're in trouble, don't chant Hari Om, they will take you somewhere else. You need to go to the hospital instead, right? Hari Om. Hari is God. Om is a mantra, of course. Please join as we break this topic a little bit for this beautiful, beautiful prayer and mantra. I would like to thank all of you for joining me on this very, very significant and sacred hour as we join in this energy that can really help us. My program is not only about talking and singing, but transmitting that energy of love. Wherever you're listening to us from, or wherever you're viewing us on Facebook from, may Bhagwan bless you all now and always. Please listen to this beautiful bhajan, everyone. Jai Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Ram. 
example if you cannot sleep chant the gayatri mantra it is nice when we can learn mantras teach our children mantras do you know how many elderly people who don't know the gayatri mantra do you know how many elderly people who don't know the hanuman chalisa of course we all should know the hanuman chalisa by heart we know so much things about people know about bhagwan Learn some mantras is going to help you. Friends, have you felt lonely in your life? Hmm? And you have no one to speak to. 
You don't know who to turn to. You just don't know what to say about how you feel. Hmm? So many people are going through sadness and depression. They just don't know what to do. Main kya karu, hum kya kare. We just don't know what to do, friends. Some people are stuck to their homes. Elderly people have nowhere to go. No one to look for them. It's really hard, you know. It's very, very sad. Look at the economical crisis in many parts of the world. Prices are going to rise more and more. What about people who cannot afford to send their children to school, buy food, to pay for gasoline that is very high? Hmm? In the space of three days, gasoline price went up 20 cents more here in America. Prices are going up also here in the supermarkets. Things are getting more and more difficult. Less workers out in the field. My dear friends, mantras, if we all chant, we can correct this. This is what the Divine Mother Jagat Janani Ma spoke to the yogis and the poor people when they were suffering immensely, when they were battered and bitterly destroyed by the ill-doers and the unrighteous men thousands of years ago. She said, Mantra Shakti is the way to go. Mantra, the yogis told us this. Mantra, chant, take one mantra. Hari Om. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva. Before you eat, chant the mantra. Probably would not put on much weight. <laughs> Before you leave home to go forward, chant a mantra. Before you start your day, before looking at Facebook, chant a mantra, what you would like to see the world to be. You in the traffic, before you use different language, chant the Hanuman Chalisa, I do it. Whenever I go to a mall or I go to the grocery and there is no parking place, I always, Jai Bajaranga Bali, you are the god of parking as well. Please provide a space for me. And once I surrender that mantra, someone will be coming out right there. Please learn that, okay? God of parking, God of flying, God of courage, God of peace, everything. In a traffic to lay to the airport, before you become angry, have more faith. Your child is in the hospital, just don't cry and waste your energy. Take a mala, how much that will cost you, and chant the Mrichun Jaya Mantra. My dear friends, someone is dying. Chant the Mrichun Jaya Mantra. This Mantra Raj, this Mantra Shakti is very, 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 very powerful. Very, very powerful, I tell you. Those spiritual seekers who love philosophy and Jnana Shakti, we also need Mantra Shakti. You're traveling, chant a mantra. you by yourself before you breathe negative thoughts, chant a mantra. When you feel hungry, before you eat, eat excessively, Om Brahmarpanam Brahmahavid Brahmadnav Brahmanahutam Brahmevate Nadhantavyam Brahma Karma Samadina Pray to the mother of food, Anapurna Devi. Anapurna Devi Sada Anapurna Devi. Shiva Jnana Vallabha Jnana Vairagya Siddhartha Ma Parvati Bhiksham Dehi Cha Parvati We beg for that mother who can help us in every way possible. A spiritual seeker mantra is important friends. Chant a mantra. Sometimes you are in your television for many hours. We don't, should not do this. Each one of us should only see a movie for two hours, except I program either. Otherwise, these thoughts get grabbed to the maya of the show. Release it, chant, listen to something inspirational, then go back to a movie. Don't get caught up in this cobweb of maya, where the world will steal our peace and love away. A sadhak, a spiritual master, 
you will always hear him chanting, chanting, chanting constantly. My friends, I'm going to give you a story that happened in India. Please listen carefully. There was once a king, whenever he would construct his mansion, his mahal, it will break, crack and fall by the fifth or sixth month. He built that place over 10 times to 11 times. The structure keep falling again and again. He sent his colleague or his servant to find out from a guru who can really help him from this misfortune. His servant went to the bank of the Ganges, listen carefully, and he saw a yogi who was sitting with his both hands on his lip, on his uh, thigh, straight up and was chanting. A huge cobra snake came there to attack this master. And soon as the master opened his eyes, the cobra snake ran away. The servant thought probably this this Guru, this Master will help me. So he went to the Master and said, Hey Gurudev, my king, this is his dilemma. His house, his mahal keep falling all the time. Can you give me some upadesh, some higher knowledge, how he can upkeep his mahal when he built it next? And you know what the Guru said? The Master said, my child, go back and tell the king. That whenever he's constructing his mahal, his huge palace, chant mantras to satisfy the deities to Lord Ganesh, the remove of all barriers. Vastu Devta, the god of the ground. When you're checking a date for your moving, check an auspicious date for surgery, for big move in your life for construction, for entering a home, for buying a home, buying Chek Drik Panchang. It gives you everything in English, my dear friends. Drikpanchang.com tells you the day to buy a car. Don't buy, go into anything major in the days of or these titi or these planets called Rakshas or Utpat, you know, or all these negative planets. Of course, your Guruji must be able to help you. Many people are performing weddings and on auspicious dates and they go into turmoils. How educated you are and what universities you went. Always seek guidance from your guru or a learned one. When you're having a yajna or wedding, opening some scar or going into your home, buying a vehicle, building a home, always check for an auspicious date and the guru will advise you friends please listen to these things a lot of people do not check and many of the leaders put the dates because of convenience but you also must check and double check those dates my friends many people are performing these rituals because of convenience and the almighty dollar please go back to all these important facts of our tradition and so then the King chanted his mantras, invited the gurus, the very same guru came, placed the gold pieces, chanted the mantras of Chandika Devi, invoked the blessings of Hanumanji, chanted the Mrichunjaya and the Rudri. That place was really blessed for that foundation. And do you know, hundreds of years have passed. And that king's home in Udaipur, in North India, is still standing strong up to today. Friends, mantras really can uphold us and guide us and take us where we need to go spiritually. Please, I'm begging you to keep one mantra in your mind and regularly chant it constantly before you eat, before you go to sleep, before you sit in meditation. As you breathe in, breathe out, chant the mantra. In your meditation, chant it. It becomes your personal Wi-Fi code. It is your GPS. Before you die, that mantra is going to remain on your lips. And that mantra is going to guide you 
to the Parameshwar. Mantra Shakti. That mantra is going to be your GPS. The universe is going to guide you where you need to go. There is no fear when a person dies. Keep chanting. Keep practicing. Keep that Mantra Raj. That Mrichun Jaya. See that Gayatri Mantra as well? Om Huru Huva Swa Tat Savitur Vadenyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyoyona Prachodayat Together friends? Om Huru Huva Swa Tat Savitur Vadenyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi and how Swami taught us the chanted Om Bhuva Swaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyoyona Prachodayat Om Bhuva Swaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyoyona Prachodayat Chant it with me everyone. As we send out good vibration to the world, it will help us and others around us. Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyoyona Prachodayat. This mantra of the Gayatri has 24 syllables in it and it awakens the 24 spiritual points in our body. Hence, a Guruji, when he is doing the Upanayan Samskar or the Janeu Samskar, the boy touches the Janeu 24 times to his body. He touches the heat and the various mantras to his heart, to his throat, to his top of his head, his shoulders, his thighs, his navel, nabi, you know, all the various major organs in the body. 24 syllable mantra in the Gayatri, 24 energy points in the body. That's why the Gayatri mantra is so powerful, friends. I will come back with a lot of information of this Gayatri mantra how it helped me and how it's going to help you with your health, your wealth, peace of mind, your spiritual journey, your sadhana and how that Gayatri Mantra can lead us to that all divine substratum, Brahman, the ultimate truth. My dear friends, as we continue our devotion, thank you everyone for your love, for your blessings, for all the good things that you always share for us. I would ask everyone before I chant a mantra after this Guru Baba Bhajan dedicated to Swami to touch your radio, to touch the energy of the transiting waves and send that energy with a prayer to India as we chant this Guru Bhajan to Swami on this very special day. Swami, please bless us now and always. Enjoy this special selection, everyone. Oh, 
us with a new energy, a new life. When that Guru Mantra is given to you, it is a mantra, a code to get you to Bhagwan. Like Swami Ramanuj, who didn't know about meditation so much, who didn't have so much knowledge like some of the Gurus, but by chanting sincerely with faith, that Guru Shakti Mantra awaken that knowledge and give him that jnana shakti that jnana shakti and bhakti led him to mukti liberation when you chant that mantra your lifestyle will change because when you in a higher energy you are led to mukti mukti means oneness or liberation and the effects of this mantra can channel the mind to a higher realm. My dear friends, mantras, this Guru Mantra can help us resist all weaknesses and lower desires and lower vibration. For example, next time, when you go to the, the mall and you see a nice cheesecake in one of those shops, in the malls or wherever, and you are tempted to eat so much more. Chant the Guru Mantra, Om Namah Shivaya. Couple of times with sincerity and you'll see the desire for that cheesecake is going to lessen down and you'll leave and you would not want it anymore. Now, I'm not saying you must not get these things when you need it. You need when the body needs, take it. 
when you know it's too much, then chant these mantras. There are a lot of people who smoke regularly and they ask me, Pandaji, I smoke 20 cigarettes per day. Do I go to heaven still? I said, yes, you go to heaven, but a little faster than normal. <laughs> My friends, whenever you have temptation, one is fun, but two and three becomes detrimental to the body. For example, if you're eating some food or something in the you're passing and you're seeing doubles or nice pizza place or something very nice and you want to resist this just invoke that energy of the guru mantra and that weakness will go away those lower desires and vibration lower vibration is going to heighten up the next time you are tempted for something just pull back and chant your guru mantra it is really really going to increase your determination, your faith, your concentration, your love, your devotion. Mantra is a syllable. Mantra is your weapon. Man means the mind. Mind means thoughts all the time. Mantra must be chanted every day, not once a week. On Sunday morning when I'm going to the mandir, I chant and then forget to chant. A true seeker chants every day, sometimes 20 times a day, sometimes 50 times a day, according to how his life, his journey is in that path spiritually. Depends on him. But I want to tell you something, something that you have never heard before. Please listen carefully. Mantra is something that you have to chant regularly. Why? Mantra vibration does not last forever. It means once the mind is a temporary place of thoughts and feelings, the mantra you chant is temporary as well. It will help you go to a certain part. But mantra always has to be repeated new and fresh. Then it takes force and it takes you a little higher. And a little higher as you chant and you chant. But if you chant once a week, you remain there and then negative thoughts again come, negativities, lower desire, it puts you back to where you were and even below. So mantra is something that does not sustain. You have to keep to it, keep chanting it and it becomes effective at that moment, that place, that situation and for that upliftment at that time. So you can connect highly to the Lord in your meditation. When you are meditating, you should chant a few mantra brothers. Om, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Or the Gayatri Mantra. A seeker, or if you are in meditation, you must chant a mantra to create that frequency so you can leap to that higher level of linking the mind to that ultimate truth. So the Guru Mantra is important. Chanting regularly is important. You know, for example, Om. Om is a mantra by itself. Do you know today so many of our friends in the other traditions, they are chanting this mantra. In all the movies, you're hearing the word mantra, you're hearing the word karma, you're hearing the word yoga. All these words you're hearing in the Western movies that are coming in the Bollywood and Hollywood movies. But Om is a universal sound that carries a vibration that is very high in energy. Om carries three songs. A, U, Ma. And many of us chant just Om, Om, no. The real way to chant Om is Ah, it have A, U, and Ma. A, U, and Ma. This is the way you chant Om. The right way we should all chant it, friends. Aum, Aum. Ah is 
the first syllable in the vowels. A is A in the alphabet. Om is the first primordial song. If you chant a mantra and that Om is not chanted, then that mantra becomes incomplete, friends. Om is the, the, the code, the secret code to open that mantra. And when you chant Om, Aum, the Ma, the Ma that represents the Matrikas or the, the Mantra Raj, you know, or the Mata, they, all the mothers, then that Ma should vibrate between the forehead line. Aum, the Ma should vibrate on the middle of the forehead. This is how the true seekers chant the Om regularly. This mantra should be chanted before you meditate and for all the spiritual seekers. Sometimes when you go to the Himalayas, all that you hear is Om. That mantra is vibrating from all the yogis as you go through the pathways, through the mountain range and you feel that energy with the Ganges, the Gangama flowing simultaneously next to you where the water is so pure, the energy is so high, my gosh. I always remember my journey when I was a student going to Himalayas. My friends, Om is a mantra. You can just chant that alone and it gives you such energy. All religions are chanting it. You know what is really amazing? All other religions are chanting these mantras more than our children and even us, we chanting. The American friends and people from Europe, China, Africa, and many places of this world, they are chanting mantras more than us, where it came from our ancient father of saints and sages, and we tend to forget these mantras. Friends, don't forget these mantras, right? Always remember to keep your mantra close to you as your best friend. Whenever you are sad, chant. Whenever you are down, chant. Whenever you are depressed, chant it. Whenever you are in a critical condition, helpless, chant it. Whenever you are going through misery, difficulties, chant it, friends. You need to chant your mantras regularly with the grace of Bhagwan. He will help you come out from all this. He Bhagavan Shiva, Hare Sunina Prabhu, please listen to our prayer on this very special hour as we send out all our love to all parts of the world, especially India, who needs help spiritually. Let us send our energy where our father of Bhagwan Kailash Shivaji resided, Bhagwan. Please help those souls. Is it a cleansing, Bhagwan? Is it lessening up the load of the world or getting rid of so much overwhelmed population? What it is, Bhagwan? We ask you and we send out prayer in this beautiful mantra through this beautiful, amazing Kailash Vasi. He is the Raja of kings and gods of kings. Bhagwan, listen to our prayer in this very, very special, special bhajan. A beautiful song that is very close to my heart. Please enjoy this one.
Dev Holy Baba, please release us from this knot of Maya. Please release us from this darkness onto light. Please release us from death onto immortality. Lead us from force to the truth. Lead us, O Lord, from this bondage of Maya to enlightenment that can lead us to Mukti, oneness, oneness with you, Lord Shiva. All together. Hari Om Shiva fulfill our prayer and this petition on this very sacred hour. Please guide us, O Prabhu. Please love us and take us where we need to go. My friends, we are speaking on the power of mantra. I remember when I was much younger. Still I am. But, you know, when you are younger, your power of concentration is not high to meditate, you always feel frustrated as a young person. You know, when you're not in the spiritual path, you will always feel dejected. You'll always feel like a failure. Sometimes you feel like you're nobody. Sometimes you feel you don't fit in, right? Sometimes you feel that you're not observed or recognized. But when you start chanting these mantras, and even though Please listen carefully. Even though you cannot chant all the time, you have beautiful mantras like the Durga Shakti. You have the Chamakam of Lord Shiva, the Rudri. You can all the various Suktam, Durga Suktam, Ma Saraswati, Medha Suktam. You have Hanumanji mantras, Krishna Ji mantras, lots of Shiva mantras. Play them in your home when you wake up. When you're exercising, play these mantras. You will burn more calories. If you're feeling a bit tension in your home and you feel there's a bad energy, without saying anything to anybody, put on that mantra. It will change the vibration around. Before you start your satsang in mandirs, play these mantras. It brings such a healing and good vibration, friends. What it does, mantra, when you chant it, it builds your confidence, especially the Gayatri Mantra. You develop slowly, chant slowly, regularly, and you will see if you are suffering from stress, your stress is going to be less. That's the test in the West. Don't make a mess. Mantras can dissolve, help you dissolve, and get rid of this load of karma we are carrying. Chant regular mantras, you'll feel less depressed. You'll feel connected, you'll feel wanted, you'll feel that high energy. You'll feel you just don't know where you get that. That energy to do your work when the morning comes. When you, before you go to sleep, sleep in that divine space of mantra. Morning mantra, during the day mantra. It will help you with a very high, high, energy friends take a mala 108 beads and chant a simple prayer in your free time in your break time for lunch Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya regular chanting prevents that space between the called vritti in Sanskrit vritti where between two thoughts in the center is called Anandam, that bliss you want to get in between there, that blissful state while you chant. 
while you chant, don't think about food. Eat your food first if you have to. Concentrate on the energy, the feeling, the guru, the form of the Lord while you chant. 108 times helps quieten the mind. Now I'm dishing out a lot of information here. Please share this video with all your friends as possible. Because I'm not celebrating anybody's birthday today or anybody's death anniversary. This is about Jnana Shakti. Now you may ask the question, why do we use 108 beads? Well, of course, 108 names, all the deities carry 108 names or Sahasranam, 1000 names, like Sahasranam in all the forms of the Lord, like Lord Vishnu, Sahasranam, thousand name of, of Vishnu Bhagwan. But 108, one means you, the individual, one. Zero means zero expectations, where the ego becomes void and, no, void and nil. Eight represents the number of finity, infinity. All the mathematics students, isn't it? Eight is the number of infinity where you could go round and round and have no end. So what it means, you the individual one, should surrender your ego to zero expectations and then it leads you to that infinite divine realm which we call Brahman or God. Hence, 108. There are many different meanings of 108 friends, but time would not always permit me to go into so much explanations. But friends, mantras help you to get to know yourself better. It helps you with confidence. It helps you with your speech, with your singing, with your knowledge. Your eyes look different. Your aura gets brighter. You have no fear for anyone, no one at all, friends. You could sit any way in the world, in any podium, and have no fear to chant, or speak, or to reach out. That becomes part of you, in your sadhana, in your sadhana. So all religious leaders, we all need that time for sadhana, to, to develop this, this, this kind of knowledge and this enthusiasm so that our Atma, Atmic principle, can work through our knowledge and our personality, our voice. Once we chant, my friends, we'll be able to identify what is Maya, what is Asatya, what is Satya, what is real, what is not real. We'll be able to identify what is everlasting, Paramatma. Nothing in the world is going to get you sad or depressed. My friends, lectures like these help Elevate your spirit, isn't it? Once there was a poor man who had a few cows. He was very, very bahut garib. He was very poor. One day, some people from the other village stole his cows that he depended on for milk. And he went everywhere he didn't find his cows. His neighbor, who was a policeman, said, let us go and find your cows. It was not to be found in the village. They went to another village and there he recognized the four or five cows, they were his. So the neighbor who was a police officer asked the sadhu, the poor man, how do you know this is your cows? This people, they're saying this is theirs and you're saying it's yours. How do I know? And the poor man called a few people. The officers called a few his other friends. And you know, the poor man told the police, listen carefully, to put your air next to the stomach of the cow and hear, listen to what you're hearing. And the poor man, he said, you will, you will hear Sri Krishna, Sri Krishna, Sri Krishna. When the police officer places air to the body of the cow, not one, but five of them, all that the police officers and others were hearing Sri Krishna, Sri Krishna, Sri Krishna. That man took care of those cows from calf, from little baby. 
And all he would chant while he would feed them grass and bathe them and sing for them, Jai Sri Krishna, Sri Krishna in the Maha, Sri Krishna in the Maha, Sri Krishna in the Maha, Sri Krishna in the Maha. And the police were able to identify that these cows were this poor man one. So you see, friends, mantras doesn't only stay there. It radiates an energy in your home, in your village, in your country, in the world, more so in the cradle of your heart where Bhagavan is residing. Now, before I sing this beautiful bhajan, for those of you who want to know more knowledge about mantras, you can chant mantra three levels. Listen carefully. Mantras can be chanted at three levels. One, Bahar Shabda. Bahar Shabda means you chant it loudly like Om Tat Purushaya Vitmahe Mahadevaya Dhimahi Tannurdraya Prachodayat Loudly where everyone can hear. Secondly, you can chant mantra called Madhya Shabda. Madhya Shabda means where you hum quietly Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya softly humming between your throat and your voice. And thirdly, but lastly, Antar Shabda. Antar means the inside, internal. Antar Shabda means where you can chant, chant your mantra mentally. We can stay quiet verbally and just chant when you're in the train, when you're in the taxi, when you're in the bus, when you're in the plane, when you're among people and you want to shut off, chant mentally and you will see how you're going to connect. So you can choose which one according to where you are. Of course, if you're among people, you don't want to chant and disturb them. If you are in your work, you chant and hum softly. Or if you're among a lot of people and you have thoughts that bothering you, chant mentally, chant mentally, my dear friends. The more you allow mantras to sink into your heart, the more you're going to become in tune with Atma. You're going to evolve more when you chant and experience those mantras. My dear friends, choose one mantra and let it become your companion. And that mantra is going to support you in return. Find time for the day, the AM and PM, to chant your mantras, friends. It's going to really, really help you in so many ways. Is going to make you feel an energy that you have never felt before. Please do not forget to chant, chant, chant your mantras, my dear friends. When you're lonely, you chant. When you're depressed, chant is going to help you, right? Especially if you lose a spouse or child. Mantras is the only thing that can help you evolve and let go of your pain. You're on the healthy Chandamritsham Jaya. Every Thursday or Mondays, Fridays is for Devi. Perform your havan with your mantras. Offer ghee 108 times. Om Aim Hreem Klim Chamundaya Biche. The mother is surely going to help you. Have no doubt about that. Bhagwan Krishna Bhagwan in the Bhagavad Gita, chapter 8, he says, Among all mantras, I am Om Kal. I am the Gayatri. I am Om, the root of all mantras. My dear friends, you chant, when you chant the mantra, with all these beautiful syllables, it's going to help you day. You know, mantra is like a ladder. You want to reach that height, but you have to take the ladder, right? And you climb slowly and safely until you reach where you need to reach to your destination. So chanting mantra is like a ladder. What's the Hindi word for ladder, everyone? Sidi. Sidi means stairs or ladder. Sidi in Hindi. And if it's in Sanskrit, Arohana. Arohan means that ladder. Arohana in Sanskrit means that ladder to take you to that pedestal in Hindi. So mantra can really affect your feeling in a positive way. Especially those who feel sad all the time, all those who are angry all the time, those who are upset all the time, those who give bad drives all the time, 
those who are always angry with their neighbors and friends and parents, those who are always upset and have no control, mantra can help you. Mantras can help you. Friends, in South India, in South India, Kerala, many years ago, they had no rain for over a year or two. And they all, the yogis, sat there and began to chant the Mrichunjaya. They performed Havan for at least 11 hours with different swamis and gurus, pandits. And they were chanting the Rudri, the powerful mantra to the Lord of Wealth and Rain, Lord Indra, Lord Krishna, Lord Shiva. They invoked Ganga. And after two years, those Dosal, that Varsha, that rain came just after they had finished the Rudri and their mantras. Do you see how powerful, very, very powerful these mantras are? Friends, these mantras are very, very, very powerful. When a child is born, please play mantras for them. Let them listen to the mantras. Right? Parents chant mantras more in your home. Children are having problem remembering and retaining what they're learning. Om Aim Saraswatye Namaha. Om Aim Saraswatye Namaha. Om Aim Saraswatye Namaha. I had many, many experiences, I told you, you know. I can sit here all night and tell you all the experiences in Canada. One sincere devotee says, Pandiji, my child is born. And now he is five to six years. And I am becoming frustrated. That child cannot speak and reach out to me. There's no word except ma, ma. See, om, that ma and a is the only word syllable. A dumb person or a person who is challenged verbally can chant a and ma. A child first song is a or ma, not pa. Papa comes after. <laughs> so therefore, mantra a o ma, these are the three words a child can chant or a person who has no speech can chant. And she said, Pandiji, that's all he's saying. Five years. And I told her, God is great. Worship Mother Saraswati, the mother of sound, vibration, shabda, speech. And I give her the mantra, Om Aim Saraswati Namaha. She did Havan, she did the Medha Suktam. We prayed with her, many gurus prayed with her. And we can safely say two years after. She waited a little time. But that child today can speak fluently. As a matter of fact, when the child starts to speak, he doesn't want to stop anymore. This is the power. This is the power of Shakti Mantra. Mantra is another word for Shakti. It's another word for power. It's another word for victory. It is another word for peace and connection to the higher energy. My friends, as we enjoy this beautiful kirtan, Bhaju Mana Hari Hara Om. Sumiru Mana Narayana. Please enjoy. And uh, may this mantras touch your heart. And practice these mantras, my dear friends. It's really going to help you in so many, many different ways.
mantra, it can really help you in so many, many different ways. I was reading an article a couple of days ago. There were two hospitals in India. One, they chanted the ritual mantra mantra all day in a recording. And the next hospital, too, had nothing. It was just grieving, death and sadness. People were crying, bawling of loss of close ones. But the first hospital where they were chanting of the Mrityunjaya Mantra, my friends, they started finding less cases of the corona. They started finding the healing process was better where they were chanting. They were all chanting the Mrityunjaya Mantra. So friends, this mantras can really charge with the potency to save lives. I think mantra is meant for us to go back to our essential goal for health, wealth, happiness, and more so, the connection between us and Parameshwar. All of us have that goal to achieve, and that goal is mukti, oneness, back to God. And mantras, they are one way. By using this tool, we can move forward and evolve to where we need to go. The Atma gets rerouted to Paramatma, bypassing the Maya and the Hamkara, the ego. And this mantra could guide us and lead us to Mukti, oneness with the Lord. My friends, before I leave you, there's a beautiful meditation I would like to share with you. And please, uh, you can touch your radio. You can touch the technology and send out that energy to all the people in the world that are suffering. Many countries are still in lockdown. We ask everyone to please observe the health news and protocol of resisting close contact with people in one room. Um, we send out at this point energy to our brothers and sisters in India who really, really need help, friends. They need your help. I beg you, I am asking you, please, at this point, please. 
send out your energy as we pray together, as we offer this meditation. When you pray, the Lord listens. But when you meditate, the Lord speaks. Let the Lord speak through us, my friends, through this meditation. You can close your eyes. You can feel the energy. Please listen to my voice. And feel that there is a beautiful light in your heart, everyone. Where the Atma resides, the beautiful Atmic Jyoti, that light. And just breathe in slowly and breathe out. Breathe in everyone and breathe out slowly. As we chant all together. Oh. friends, to friends and relatives, we want to send this energy to many parts of the world. As you feel that light in your heart opening up and chant three times, healing, healing, healing. That is a mantra. As you send out that mantra, as you touch a screen. Afterwards, you can chant a mantra, Jai Shri Krishna. For those who are looking on, on Facebook, you could always place that in the comment for blessings and where you're logging in from. Right now, we are logging in from our heart where the Lord resides. Send that loving energy to all of our brothers and sisters, especially in Bharat Desh, who are dying by the thousands. Send that love energy to those countries who may need help and who will need help. May our light and love energy from the Atma send out this energy of healing, love, bliss and a request to the Almighty. May the world be saved, may our lives be saved, May all those who are suffering in the poor villages of India, those who may not have help, medication, those who may not have a home, food, please provide, O oh Lord. Sukha Sampati Data, you're the giver of true bliss, joy, success. Feel all of our energy coming together and creating this beautiful light of healing as we send out this energy of love, healing. Take a few seconds everyone and feel that the Lord is right within our hearts. Not far but very close as we chant this short mantra for blessings. Om Jat Ved Se Sunvam Somamara Yato Nirahati Vedaha Sana Parishadati Durgani Vishwa Naveva Sindhum Duritadat Nihi Tamatni Varanam Tapasajalantim Veruchanim Karma Paleshu Jushta Durgam Devi Gam Sharanam 
महम प्रपद्ये सुतर सितर से नम अग्नि पराय नव्योस्वस्ति विरति दुर्गा विश्वा पुष्ट पृथ्वी बहुला नवाय तो काय तनयाय सयो विश्वा नो दुर्गा जात वेद सिंधु नाम दुरीतापरषि अग्निवा मनसा गृणा नो अस्माक पृथनाजितगम सहमुमुग्निक भुवे परम सरस्ता स्तन परशरति दुर्गा विश्वा क्षाम देवोति दुरीता रि प्रोषी कमीभ्योधरेशु सना चूता नव्यत्सत्सेवाग्नीतनुवं पिप्रया स्वास्माभ्याम सामयजस्वा गोविर्जुष्टमुजनिष्ठ तवेन्द्र वैष्णुरनु सचरेम नाक पृष्ठमसा पृष्ठमीव संवासन वैष्णवी लोकाइमादयता ओं कार्यायनाय विमे कन्याकुमारी धीमह तो दुर्गे प्रचोदया तो दुर्गे प्रचोदया तो दुर्गे प्रचोदया ओं सनावत सनोभुन सह वीर करवामहे तेजस्वीनामस्त मिशावे ओं ता पिता बंधुश्च सिखा विद्याण company and uh, to all of you as thank you so much please share this video with all your friends and family it was really a wonderful evening of knowledge mantras bhajans and uh, for those who feel down and maybe ailing maybe sad and depressed and lonely please share this beautiful evening with them so it was really a pleasure being with all of you to all our viewers please let us know where you are viewing from please chant a mantra and send out a mantra to the comment so that your prayer will reach out to the world there are a lot of devotees who are viewing throughout the world bhagwan sarve bhavantu sukhina sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadrani pashyantu ma kasya dukha bhavana ओम तत्सत हरिओ शांति 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 हरि बोलो नाम दुर्गा माता की जय थैंक यू एवरीवन नमस्कार हरिओम